to Savage Kitchen. Today we are making three cocktails. They're all going to be uh, the same cocktail in name, but we're going to start with the historical version. I'm then going to show you a version that my good friends Sunny and Susan over at Rhubarb and Cod made uh, just a few days ago, and then we're going to do a little Savage spin on it too. I have never had this cocktail. This is called A Kiss from Heaven, uh, which sounds just too sweet for words. And the original spec is equal parts of all of our spirits. The spirits that we're using in this cocktail are Drambuie, one of my favorites and one of the reasons that uh, Rhubarb and Cod tagged me in their version of this cocktail. We're both Drambuie lovers. Then uh, we're gonna be using Cognac and a dry vermouth. Unfortunately, this was the only dry vermouth uh, that I have right now. They use the Dolan and I just, I couldn't get that at the store this week. So we're gonna use this one. I'm sure this is fine. And for the rhubarb and cod version, we're actually gonna be adding some uh, bitters to the cocktail. For my version, I have no idea what we're doing because I have never tried this before. And uh, I feel like I really can't riff on it until we make it and try it. So let's see. So the reason that uh, Sunny and Susan over at Rhubarb and Cod posted their version of this cocktail was actually in honor of Robbie Burns Day. If you're unfamiliar with Robbie Burns, also known as Robert Burns, the bard, he is one of Scotland's most famous exports, most famous characters in history. He was a poet in the late 1700s and is probably most widely known for writing the lyrics to Auld Lang Syne. So the the song that everybody sings on New Year's and nobody actually knows the words to. I think it's January 25th is, uh, is Robbie Burns Day or Robbie Burns Night. And I did not know this, actually, Sunny informed me of this the other day, that traditionally people uh, have a Scottish meal, haggis, and drink scotch, because Scotland, in honor of Robbie Burns. Who am I to deny that? So, and I love Drambuie, so we're gonna have Drambuie cocktails. So for the original version, we're just doing equal parts, one ounce each of cognac, drambuie, and vermouth. And then my favorite, drambuie. Mm. If you're unfamiliar with drambuie, get familiar. It is glorious. This is a scotch-based liqueur with notes of honey, and brown sugar and vanilla and a little bit of citrus and like all good things. It is absolutely delicious. I like sipping it on its own. And I'm pretty excited to try it in this cocktail. Mmm, okay. Ooh, this is gonna be good. I love that pretty honey color. All right, we're gonna put this one aside and make the rhubarb and cod version. Now for Sunny and Susan's version, uh, Sunny chose to alter the ratios just a little bit. And I like the thought process behind it. He decided to use cognac as a base, dry it out with the vermouth, and then add that little bit of flavor and sweetness with the drambuie. But then he also adds citrus bitters to just kind of play against those caramel and heavy notes that are in the cocktail already. He uses lime bitters. I'm so sorry, I couldn't find lime bitters at the store. Like seriously, I have all the bitters up here and I don't have lime and couldn't find lime. So we're gonna use lemon and we're gonna garnish with a little bit of a lemon peel. So for rhubarb and cod's ratio, we are gonna go ounce and a half of cognac and a half. I guess I could use the other side, huh? And then one ounce of vermouth. And then three quarters of an ounce of drambuie. I'm a little sad to use less drambuie. I always want more drambuie. It's like cowbell. You always need more cowbell. You always need more drambuie. All right, so three quarters of an ounce. Woo, there we go. And then a few dashes of our citrus bitters. All right, let's stir this down. Mmm. That's already a very different drink. Oh, it's beautiful. Ooh, okay. 
I'm excited about this. All right, this glass might be a little big for this one. Don't at me about the wash lines. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna give this a little lemon garnish. So just taking a little bit of lemon and in honor of my friend Vino, no hobo garnish, we're gonna clean this up. I'm just gonna do a little twist. And stick that right in the side. Okay. These both look beautiful. I've already got some ideas on how I might riff on this just from my spoon taste, but let's let's give them a real taste. So first, this is the original spec from the 1940s book, The How and When, The When and How. I think it's The How and When. I will uh, put the name of that in the description below. I mean, it smells like Friday. Oh. That's good. I kind of feel like the vermouth dominates this a little bit. It's good, um, but if I had to identify a particular flavor, it's it's the vermouth. That also could have to do with the brand of vermouth that I'm using. Mm. Okay, okay, not bad. It's not setting my world on fire. It's good. So let's try uh, rhubarb and cod's version of the kiss from heaven. Mm, I already love that you can smell citrus on this. And like color wise, I like the color of this one a little better. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good job guys. Yeah, that's also delicious. Definitely it has a little bit more complexity by changing those ratios from the original. I like the addition the addition of the citrus just those few dashes of bitters and the being able to smell the oils from the that citrus peel really really nice let's put a savage spin on this i think um and this is influenced actually more by my taste from the first from the original since that flavor was so dominated by the vermouth i want to alter this a little bit and my thought is we're going to try a different uh, spirit here. We're gonna try Lillette Blanc. Lillette Blanc is similar to a vermouth. Maybe it's technically a vermouth. I'm not even sure. But I have a feeling that the citrus notes in that are going to accomplish similar thing to the bitters that uh, Sunny added. But I think it might be good. Maybe we'll go a little heavier with the bitters. I don't know. Let's just see. So this is what we're gonna do. Truly, I'm making this up. We're gonna stick with the cognac base. So the ratio of that's gonna be a little bit more than the Lillette and the Drambuie. I think because this is sweeter than the dry vermouth though, we're gonna, we're gonna dial this back a touch and maybe have equal parts Drambuie and the Lillette and a little more cognac, maybe a little more bitters. We'll see, this could suck. I genuinely don't know. We're gonna do ounce and a half of cognac. Let's do, Three quarters an ounce Lillet, Lillet, Lillet. I feel like if you've been following me for a while, you know pronunciations are you know fast and loose around here. It's more citrusy on the nose. Three quarters of an ounce. I mean, what's the worst that happens? We have to make another one, okay. And then same amount of the Trambuie some lemon bitters because i liked that what the citrus did to this i'm gonna go heavy on the bitters i always go heavy on the bitters all right stir it down all right let's give this a little little taste mm. i don't know i feel like it needs more citrus more cowbell More Drambuie, more cowbell. I'm adding another quarter ounce, so it would bring this up to, we were at three quarters of an ounce before, this is a whole ounce then. I feel like the Lillet might have been a mistake. It's very floral. Ooh, we're just gonna try it. Mm. 
Also, since we added those lemon bitters, we definitely, this needs more citrus. We're definitely gonna add a lemon peel. I'm almost tempted to just squeeze lemon into this, but I also feel like that's just like throwing a Band-Aid on something, so. This one might deserve a hobo garnish. Okay, let's twist some of those oils in. You know, I'm not entirely confident about this one. Usually I am. Oh, it does smell good though. All right. Remember a couple weeks back when I did an Amaro tasting and I hated Maletti because it tasted like perfume? Mm, I feel like that's what the, the Lillet does. If you like that flavor, I think you're going to love this. I think this actually, if you enjoy that extremely floral, perfumey thing, you're going to be all about this. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. I uh, I think I like. Mm. Yeah, I like. I like this version. I like rhubarb and cod's version better. Let's go back to the original too. Mm. I I do like the original, also. So, final verdict. Savage Kitchen does not win this one. Not that it was a competition, but I don't I don't particularly like swapping out the vermouth with the lillet. I um I do like the addition of the citrus that rhubarb and cod did, and I do like the original spec. I also think so our ratios are different in this one, right? We've got a cognac base and then lesser amounts of vermouth and drambuie where this is all equal parts. Um I think that this one could use that little citrus addition, those uh, those lime bitters or lemon bitters. I'm gonna keep drinking and see how I feel about it. Mm. So let me know in the comments below if you had had this cocktail, if you've tried it, and what your particular specs are. I'm super curious. So until next time, cheers friends. Mm.